Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back to another one with Shy. You already know I am back with more vibes as usual for y'all. And I'm just so excited because today I am back with another review for you all. And what I have here today are two new items that I added to my collection. The first thing that I'm going to start with is the Audio Box Go. This is an interface, and as you can tell by the name, Audio Box Go, that it is an interface for on the go. So this is really small and compact, same size as my hand, and my hand's not that big. Um, same size as my mug right here. So, it's not that big, but it has a lot of power to it. I like it for a budget interface. On the front, it has two gain knobs for the for the first instrument and also for the second instrument. It also has a main volume button as well. And then it also has on the front a mix button as well that you can adjust to your liking and it also has the headphone input as well or you would say output it has the headphone output on the front and also the adjuster for that on the back it comes with the usb port that you can put your usb into it has two outputs that you can use for speakers computers headphones whatever you want to do with that on this side, it comes with one mic line and it also comes with one instrument input as well. So you can only insert one instrument at a time on this and one mic line. So this would not be for sharing. If you have a band, if you have multiple instruments, this is not for that, which kind of sucks, but it's cool if you need something when you're on the go. So I like this because I move around a lot. As you all see, like I go from different scene to different scene in different rooms. So this is good for me. I can just slide it in my bag and be good. It is plastic. It has a little bit of weight to it. So just be delicate if you're interested in one of those. Also, I purchased the uh, Audio Technica. And this microphone is a side profile microphone. So if you see on the back, it says back. And on the front, it just has the name of the microphone. And this is a condenser microphone that goes perfect with this because I have the 48V phantom power button so whenever i'm about to record i make sure i hit the 48v phantom power button so if you have a condenser mic like i just showed you you want to make sure you have a 44 or above the phantom power so it can do what it has to do to bring you the best sound. So I won't get too technical in it, but that's just that's just the best for condensed mics. So with this, I have the three prong insert for my mic line, which is pretty dope. And then I just put it in. And this mic did not come with the power cord but i get everything from sweetwater for the most part and it came with i purchased this 10 foot it doesn't say oh it does say this 10 foot power cord so i can move around i can have my mic stand up super tall or I can just have it low. But like I said, my pants are kind of loud, I'm sorry. As I said, this microphone right here 
is a side profile so I'll do some test runs of what it sounds like from the front, the top, and the back, but you'll get the best sound from the front, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into that and let y'all hear for yourself. Let me know down below if you have budget-friendly sound equipment as well, and let me know what you're using. Let me know if you've ever used an audio technique of mic. And this one is kind of cool to me because I know a few artists that have used this and this has been relevant for years. I believe one of the best ones came out in 2004 and this is the 2020 version, so. All right, y'all, so now I have the vocals in. The vocals are in. Hey, yo, Juan, did the Drake vocals come in yet? You know everything stops secret, with my brother. <laughs> he be lit. Shout out to DJ Khaled. So this first one is just the regular voice, nothing going on, so let's go. I'm the fireman, f f fireman So with that one, you can hear the breathing, all of that stuff going on. I'll play it one more time. I'm the fireman, f f fireman All right, I'm the fireman for y'all. Now this next one right here is the mic and auto-tune, so let's go. I'm the fireman. Fireman. And with this one, you can still hear a little bit of what's going on. I don't have a pop filter on or anything on, just the mic and auto tune. One more time. I'm the fireman. F -f -f fireman. Got too much going on. So next, we're going to do the pop filter with the microphone. Let's get into it. Fireman. F -f -f fireman. Ooh, but you can still hear a little bit because there's not anything going on. I didn't put on any game, any noise cancellations or anything. That's just a regular voice with the pop filter. Fireman, f -f -f fireman. So that sounds more clear. Next, we're going to do the gains. I did tweak the sound so I made it a little bit more clear and I also turned on my 48B as well so let's get into it. This is how most of my stuff should sound so I just got this mic so y'all let me know if this sounds like a W or not. Now, I don't use that much auto-tune if I use any auto-tune, but y'all get the gist of it. Like, the quality on it just sounds amazing. So clear. I like this mic and I love this interface. One more time. You're not getting anything coming back after I got the noises out and everything. I didn't have too much to work with as far as like the noises and things like that. Also, my air wasn't bumping like it is right now, but it's hot. So y'all can hear me, right? I'm sure y'all can hear me. And last but not least, I'm going to show you the back of the mic or the sound of what the back of the mic sounds like if you were to turn the microphone around. And with that, I didn't I didn't add any auto-tune, I didn't add anything to it. It's just straight vocals and it sounds great. It sounds good, but it just sounds like from far back. So maybe I could use the back of the mic for like background or something like that just to be creative. But like I said, this is a side profile mic. So when you hear this one, that is like the loudest it goes. I can turn up the DPs. Let's see what if that makes a difference. Just a little bit, so you all got to hear the quality from the front and the back. 
with and without auto tune y'all let me know down below if this is a w and let me know with a like as well if you all want more reviews on this channel i appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out my video today i will see y'all next time and until next time y'all stay blessed and stay positive i'll see y'all in the next video peace